Hello everyone, welcome to Abner's Kitchen. In this video, watch me make and package 100 pies for an event. I'll start by sifting my flour. So for 100 pies, you will need 7.5 kilograms of flour. So uh, each pack is 1.5 kilograms and for each pack of 1.5 kilograms you get about 20 pies sometimes i get 21 or 22 but you get minimum 20 pies from 1.5 kg so for 100 pies you will need five packs of the 1.5 kg that makes it uh, 7.5 kilograms I'm going to add in my milk powder if you want a detailed tutorial on how i make my pie i'll put the link in the description box or it will appear somewhere on your screen so that you can click on it i'm going to add in some nutmeg I'm going to add in my margarine or butter. If you watch my other tutorial on how to make meat pie, you will know that I freeze my butter for 30 minutes to an hour before I use it. This is because I want a very flaky pie and uh, for flaky pies, all your ingredients will have to be chilled even refrigerated the flour overnight before using it. I'm going to gently rub in the butter so I'm mixing this one pack at a time because I don't want to overwork the crust I'm going to add in some blended onion and garlic this will give it a very nice aroma I've also got salt in that mixture so you wouldn't see me add any salt. I'm not going to add any more water because I'm going to refrigerate them overnight before I bake them. I prepared the crust the evening before. I'm going to wrap them up in some plastic bags and then put them in the fridge. These are new plastic bags, they've never been used. You can prepare your crust the same day you are baking them, but because I'm doing this in a large quantity all by myself and uh, I don't want to get exhausted, so I prepare everything the night before. <laughs> More bed two fifty cra keep tra sort of time is money. I'm going to repeat the same process with the remaining packs of flour. is the next morning i've already prepped my filling so i've got some tuna chopped onion and carrots and then i added a pinch of salt to adjust the taste and some black pepper glazing the pie i've got one egg and some evaporated milk and then i've got water in another container to seal the ends I woke up at 6 a.m. in the morning and at about half past 10, I was done with all the baking. I'm going to roll my crust and then start cutting them.
I'll brush the ends with some water and then I'll add my filling so for every pack of flour I normally use four cans of tuna so I use 20 cans of tuna for five packs of flour To show you one more time I made this pies for an appreciation service we had in our church it was such a great opportunity to do this even though it was a last minute request I couldn't say no because it was yet another chance to get blessed by God. I forgot to tell you that the size of my cutter is 13 centimeters. So if you use anything larger or smaller, know that the number of the pies that you get will differ from what I've already mentioned in the video. I'm going to brush the pies with the egg and milk mixture and then bake them in the preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for about 30 minutes our first batch of pie is ready forgot to add that you need more baking trays when baking in bulk so i had four baking trays and my oven takes two at a time I transfer my pies into a storage box when they've cooled down. Try not to move them while they are still hot because they tend to break. For the packaging, I'm going to use a self seal cellophane bag. And then I'm going to add some thank you stickers as well. This was my first one, but I put them the wrong way. I'm going to show you one more time. I got it right this time. This was a sample of how the pie should look like. <laughs> and I'm going to add our stickers. As you can see, I also made some big chips. I've got a recipe on that, so I'll put the link in for you to check it out. This is the final product. I took the pies to church and then we put them in the bag and added the drinks to it at the venue. 
thank you so much for being with me today i hope you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up